I'm Dr. John Whalen. I'm a clinical psychologist. I work primarily with serving and retired military and RCMP. I served in the Canadian military for about nine years, left and returned to university, and then came back to the Stadacona Hospital uh, in 1993, and I stayed until 2005 as the director for the Addictions Wing. In 2005, up till now, I operate a private clinic, again, for the treatment of operational stress injuries, uh, among serving and retired military and other first responders. I wrote Going Crazy in a Green Machine in 2014, primarily for military veterans and their clinicians to understand why it was that some people could benefit from treatment and while others did not benefit from treatment. It was well received by veterans and their clinicians. They raised a number of questions that I responded to in the second book, Ghost in the Ranks, which really lays out how it is that young men and women take on a version or a persona that is based in reliability, strength, emotional avoidance that allows men and women to do and participate in awful things and still be able to carry on. So the book really talks about how this very skill set can get in the way, if you will, of them recognizing good mental health and really how this can end up trapping them with mental health symptoms and not being able to uh, accept the kinds of help that are available to them. There are two goals in mind for Ghosts in the Ranks. The first, of course, is to military personnel and their families to understand the kinds of things that are happening for them in terms of their actual reactions, the actual things that occur in their military lives. The second would be for the military to really look at the kinds of things they can be doing within their units, uh, within the notion of brotherhood and military family to possibly head off some of these injuries in the first place and not use folks like myself or the medical folks as a first level intervention. In Ghost in the Ranks, I use vignettes from actual men and women who have served in the Canadian Forces over the past 25 years. I've changed some details and names, of course, to protect their anonymity, so it ends up being composite characters of actual events that happened. But it's really meant to emphasize where we are with the science, and in terms of understanding mental health generally, and some of the gaps that, that exist in that science as it relates to the kinds of struggles that these men and women talk about. Mm -hmm.